questions regarding uh, Kasparov. Now, of course, in much later in his career, and he's retired a couple of times, I guess, <laughs> officially. Yes. But he yes. still plays blitz and rapid. And it seems that the game has changed a bit on him. So first off, 15 years rated num ranked number one, and you guys had so many matches for the World Championship. And so what would you say were his real strengths in terms of chess? No, with, uh, with computers, uh, so um, he was the first who exploited these uh, new uh, technologies uh, in chess. And then he had big advantage in chess openings. Uh, but uh, later on, he lost this advantage. And so this, this, I believe, was very unpleasant for him. Because nowadays, even with middle level, level grandmasters, he is on the same level of uh, of uh, opening knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but he he used to play with a big advantage from the beginning, mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. And now he doesn't get it, and uh, and of course uh, he has less energy. Probably nervous system is not so mm -hmm. stable like it was before. Mm -hmm. And his style required uh, required a lot of forces and a lot of energy. High maintenance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so of course mm -hmm. it's more difficult because he is uh, 55 already, mm -hmm. so he is, unfortunately he is not young. Well, ironically enough, I actually find, like, well, with myself, for example, still play blitz at a high level because you're not sitting there for five or six hours with all that nervous energy. So I still find play blitz probably at a much higher level now than like if I had to play long grueling tournament games <laughs> yeah yeah might happen and yeah. so and so for you like you play blitz you play active chess and pretty much the same with gary now he plays blitz he plays active chess from what i've seen and uh and that's interesting so now in terms of weakness uh what it would take to beat him well i guess we saw the the, the match with kramnik was the first human you know to beat him in a match and then you beat him in a short match in 2002 and uh so in terms of his weakness uh and what it would what what did you kind of feel were his weakness weak areas you know oh well, this this individual uh, on, for me it would be weakness for another it would be strong strong side mm -hmm. so because uh, when you when you compare styles and strengths of the players and this always uh, individual mm -hmm. and uh, well, with, with Gary, I think one, one of his weaknesses was also his strength, tremendous confidence, you know. <laughs> and then also... No, no, well, like this, is not, little, no this is not no, psychology or, yeah. or preparation. But uh, I think I was, uh, uh, I was much stronger in uh, positional play. Mm -hmm. uh, he was stronger than me in tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he could feel uh, uh, better initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, he could sacrifice uh, material mm -hmm. to to obtain initiative, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, I was stronger in endings. Mm -hmm. And so we were absolutely uh, different in chess style. Mm -hmm. Now, so now, what 